football season, perhaps the most highly anticipated season ever on the Manoa campus, but now 11 days before the opener, there's some rumbling going around up there. KHNL News 8's Reed Shimizu live in the newsroom tonight with more. Well, Howard, the source of the rumbling you mentioned isn't on the field. Rather, it's, a, it's in an online posting by former UH wide receiver Ian Sample. Last week, Sample released his book, Once a Warrior, which covers his experiences as a member of the team, but what is left out of the book and posted on his MySpace website has raised the ire of a few on campus. UH Athletics Director Herman Frazier has had a busy summer. Everything from football schedules to legislative inquiries. Now only a week and a half away from kickoff comes accusations from a former player about the state of the football program. I've already had three or four meetings as it uh, relates to the alleged things said by Mr. Sample, but we will make sure we leave no stone unturned as we try to figure that out. The source of the controversy are excerpts left out of former UH receiver Ian Sample's new book, once a warrior and posted on his MySpace webpage. Have people on the team taken steroids? Yes, they have. Sometimes it's obvious you can see someone improve over a couple months by leaps and bounds. When one of these random tests comes around, it's amazing that none of our valuable players are ever selected, especially the ones known for smoking weed. I'm convinced the random tests are not random at all. The higher-ups definitely know what they're doing when they decide who will be tested. There were some uh, miscalculations as it relates to some of it, especially the drug testing part. The NCAA does that, so I know that, that there's no staff person involved in how that's done. We have the greatest kids in the world world uh, at this campus and you know it's just a shame that uh, someone kind of threw him under the bus. To acquire the information Sample interviewed several of his teammates and stands by his work. I've talked to um, some, certainly one of my teammates because I know there's a lot of controversy of what's out there or not. I'm happy uh, inside because I have a lot of their blessings so I'm, I'm good with myself. We're reacting to something that that's on the internet and you and I both know there's all sorts of things on the internet and we could only go by what's factual. Frazier says he and the school are still reviewing the accusations and have not yet decided what actions will be taken. Live in the newsroom, Reed Shimizu, KHNL News 8.